Hey everybody, and welcome back to the non-league adventure with me, GWFM, playing as ECFC in the back of this Premier League. Uh, and as you can see, we've signed another, another deal, uh, another two-year contract extension, basically, to uh, remain at Eastleigh. Um, so yeah, we, we joined them um, in 2008, sorry, 2018, yeah, 18-19 season. So it will make us stay here for uh, 10 years if we stay till the end, if we don't get sought out by another club. So basically, before we go into anything else, we've got some highlights to show you. Let's get through them right now. Right, Robertson with the throw, finds Hughes. Back to Robertson it goes. He's got he's up against two, but finds Herdecker. Hughes crosses in back post and Cullen is there to make it 1-0. It's been a very tight and even game, but it looks like that could be potentially the winning, ga winning game, winning goal. Robertson with a throw deep in his half. The Dick tackles well, but it comes back to Robertson. It's another great tackle from the Dick. He's well up for this game. But it's clear straight to Martins, unfortunately. And now it's back to Robertson. Robertson gets by the Dick this time and grays it behind. He scores near post. 2-0 Derby. And on the balance of play, probably it's de uh, deserved. Allman has it now. Former Stoke man, Keita. Keita gets by his man and can get in the crossing position. Back post. Mateus Pereira makes it 1 0 to Everton. Early goal and AC up against it. Walsh swings it high into the box. It's gone up. Find its way all the way to Brewer. A Brewer makes it 1 1. Great finish from the corner. Bit of a mix up from the defenders, but we don't care. 1 1. For Linden now. Plays it in field for Walsh. It's a poor ball and true from. Mateus Pereira's played an awesome ball for Allman to get on the end of, and he scores past Big Z. Despairing dive, and it's 2-1 to Everton. 20th goal of the season already for Allman. Isco with the corner, swings it high towards Flores at the back post. He's won the header, it's 3-1, that's game over. And that's disgraceful defending Flores. First ever goal for, for Everton. Comley. Throws it down the line to Fernandez. Fernandez crosses in deep and Sanchez is there to make it 1 0. Disappointing, really. It's his first ever goal for Chelsea as well. They've just had a manager change and it seems to have paid off. So, as you can see, uh, it's not very good reading. Uh, last time out in the live com, we, uh, we beat QPR 2 1. You might remember there'd been a, an injury to Vukatic. We missed him for the derby game. Um, we obviously lost that game. Uh, in that game though, Lukunku got injured. I believe it was that one. Yeah, Lukunku got injured and he was out for two weeks. So yeah, as subsequently he missed the Everton game, which when we lost 3-1. Um Kyle Walker Peters missed both of those games by the way at the right in the right back position. And uh Brewer's goals just seem to have dried up all of a sudden because the other person that scored well no, sorry, take that back. Brewer did score against Everton, but that was first goal in a couple of games. Um, then we have Chelsea who have gone through a bit of a resurgence. Uh, they did deserve to beat us, to be fair, but we were a, bit, a little bit unlucky. But as you can see, there is a, an injury there uh, to David Mariscal, and uh, yeah, it was pretty bad. That bad that he's out for four to five bastard months with a damaged Achilles tendon. So he's probably going to be missing uh, for the remainder of the season, it seems. So that's a massive blow for our season. Uh, as a result, of course, you can see that we are actually in 12th in the league. We've gone from highly third in three games to 12th in the league. We're not that far away from getting back into those into contention. We're only four points off, uh, you know, fourth place. Um, you know, but more importantly, the main goal, I suppose, we're 11 points clear of West Brom, who've just sat their manager as well. And uh, Chelsea, of course, the team, their manager, the guy who took over, who's just masterminded a wonder win, Jamie Vardy. <laughs> I don't know why I just find that funny. But it's Jamie Vardy with his tactical knowledge of nine pounds, uh, nine pounds, nine on his 59 grand a week. Um, yeah, bit of a bit of a shocker, really, if you ask me. That. But anyway, um, yeah, so it's not looking good all of a sudden. We do have a game in hand. Should we win that game in hand against Man United of all teams? It's unlikely. We'll see us back in, into probably ninth. Yeah, on goal difference. Uh, in fact, no. We'll see us go as high as seventh on goal difference. Maybe not above them. It all depends. If we can trounce Man United at home, which is, like I said, unlikely. But you never know. We beat Arsenal quite comprehensively. We'll have to wait and see. 
Today's game is brought to you live from the Silver Lake Stadium. It's ECFC against Manchester United FC. So EC go into this game on the back of a disappointing 1-0 defeat to Chelsea. Uh, they're going to go with a big Z in goal again with a dick at right back, a target at left back with Rekic returning to the side in central defence alongside Reese Oxford. Pedro Pedro continues in defensive midfield with Liam Walsh taking up the vacated role by Mariscal's injury. Uh, Lukunku returns to the side at right wing and Adua takes over uh, Vukatic's role due to fitness issues uh, as an inside forward. And Brewer continues up front um, to try and spearhead the attack against Man United, who are consequently going to line up with David De Gea in goal with Alonso at right back, Bradbury at left back with Courier and Bailey the centre back pairing. Salami is going to be on the right hand side with Gomez on the left, Koke and Nunnally in the middle of the park with Carosi and Martial up front uh, to try and take the game to Eastleigh. So I'm just going to say basically calmly, nobody expects a result, they're flying at the minute, we're not going to do f f beggar all basically, so I'm not expecting anything, I'm just going to continue in that same vein. Right, so it's easy to get the game underway, and it's left to right, the blue shirts. Right, Lukunku has it early though, early chance perhaps for Eastley. Nice little ball for the dick. Pass it in to Lukunku, first time ball to Davis, Davis has a shot, it's blocked. And Walsh should get there and does. So Matt Akinfen was the uh, the challenge from the Man United man. Gomez with the throw in. Throws it to Bradbury. Gomez crosses in. It's Oxford that heads it down. Lukunku now. Plays it for for Brewer. Oh, it's an error by the uh, the defender. I don't even know who it is, but Brewer won with the keeper. It scores! Come on! Come on, Brewer! Courier with a mischief header. Schoolboy error of all, all proportions. It's something I saw last night from this team. Well, the second... Well, yeah, this team. <laughs> Big error from the defender. And Brewer, just as he was getting caught up by Courier, finishes well into the bottom left-hand corner. Nice finish. Nice celebration as well. Yeah, I'll stop now. The Dick finds Pedro. Davis to Lukunku. Back to the Dick. The Dick. Finds Davis, now it's Lukunku. Brewer, play, feed him back through. Oh, just get tackled instead, that's good too. De Gea, still playing. Kicks it long, target heads away. On as far as Nunnally, who's found Martial, but he's tackled by Pedro. And now Oxford can find Walsh. Davis to Lukunku. Forward it goes to Brewer, he's, he's intercepted well by Courier. The man who made the mistake for the goal. Martial feeds in, Carosi! Shoots over the bar, had about five blue shirts in front of him, but somehow got a shot through. Big Z. Long kick towards Lukunku, heads infield. Not only does get the ball, the head of Brewer. Martial feeds in Carosi. Oh, good interception from Rekic. Big Z, shot to target. Forward to, Ma to Walsh. Adua has it now, coming in field and finds Brewer. Looking for support. It's the furthest man forward and he's charging, he's driving forward. Up against Curry, gets away from him. Can he get on the shot away? It's 2-0, come on bro, that's a great goal. Just dribbles like Ryan Giggs through everyone. Nice celebration, Robbie Keane, I'm not going to do a roll. I'm not going to do a roll for you, don't, don't worry. I'm not going to just get up and do a roll because I, I don't think I can. I'll probably break my back. But here comes Brewer, away from Courier. That's why it's so important. It morphs through him as well, which is, you know, that's an impossible trait that you can have in any game to morph through people. But I'm not complaining, we're 2-0 up against the champions! I just can't believe that uh, Adua got an assist for that really, because he's picked up so deep and just run at everyone. But here he is and, and again, the man of the man of the moment. Walsh finds Davis. Lukunku. Forward to that man. Brewer. Looking for options. He goes back to Pedro. There's always an option. Brewer. Now it's Walsh. In a new role, in an unfamiliar box-to-box -box midfield role. But it's uh, headed away, now it's Koke, finds Martial, now it's Carosi. Martial made a good run there, but Rekic with a strong challenge, a former Man City man. Alonso, finds Nunnally, in the middle of the park, Carosi first time ball to Martial, oh, he tries to have a shot, but it's blocked by Oxford, it's a corner. Nunnally, crosses in, Alonso wins the header, but it's over the bar, it's a corner apparently. Nice despairing dive by the way, by the keeper, Nunnally. Swings in another corner, Brewer heads away. Pedro brings it down with his face and just launches it. Salami with a throw, throws it down the line for Marshall. in the crossing position, he does cross it in. Reese Oxford's there, clears it long. And Brewer brings it down superbly. 
Courier with a good tackle, finally getting a bit of ven vengeance on him. Headed away by Oxford. Koke finds Salami. Up against the Kunku. Bradbury. Koke. Salami again. Nunnally. Good bit of passing. It's a Marshalls. One on one with a keeper. It's 2 1. Lifeline for Manchester United. 24th goal of the season for him. Far, far, far too easy here, though. L lunging from Rekic. I think it was Rekic anyway. And yeah. Just zoom in on that. Oh no, I think it's one. T I could have sworn there was two 22s then on the back of our players' shirts. But no, it was 22 and 21. Salami. Finds Nunnally. It's another twist in this half. Before half time. Carroz is there. Gets a shot away. It's blocked well. Lukunku back to Big Z. He plays it coolly and calmly to target. Courier. Finds Salami. Koke. Plays it for for Marshall. He's got the better of Oxford slightly there, but he's, he, he uh, recovered well and blocked the shot. I'm not going to lie, they've got some tired legs out there. Salami in particular, and uh, m I can't remember the other guy, Gomez, is it? The other side, they're like 60% at half time. Um, but we're winning. Nobody expects us to win, but I want to say that. Game focus, that's it. Very good. Now, I've just told the ones that haven't reacted that I've got faith in them, and, it, and apart from the keeper, no one's really reacted, so balls to you. Right, so Manu get the second half underway. And it's Carosi early on. They're going from left to right. Koke finds Gomez in acres of space. He's got in the cross of position. He does straight away. It's a corner. Nunnally with a corner. Swings it in. It's headed away by Pedro Pedro. Nunnally back in. Well, back out to the edge of the area. Salami's got it. Finds Bradbury. Salami again. Nunnally good tackle again from Pedro. He's been an absolute rock this season so far. Rekic. Plays it short, the free kick that is. Target down the line to Walsh. Finds Davis. Nice little pass to Lukunku who's come in field. Brewer. Delightful ball to the dick. He's brought it down superbly. He's got two men in, in company. Got Brewer and a hat trick! Oh, it's hit the post! I thought sure that was going to be a hat trick against Man United. I mean, that's one that you tell your grandparents, isn't it, when you get old and. I think you mean grandchildren. And grey and, and uh, decrepit. I don't know what I'm, where I'm going with that. Gomez with a throw. Finds Bradbury. Back to Gomez again. Bradbury. Back to Koke. Square to Nunnally. Chips it for for Gomez to chase. The dick is there on hand. Dick on <laughs> dick in hand, should I say. Walsh. Forward it goes to the doer. has been relatively quiet in this game. but And apart from the fact that it's just given them like, the best assist to go in, apparently. Marshall gets the ball and brings it down. Gets past Oxford. Back. It wasn't even there. Carosi smashes it into the net, but he's offside. Fortunately for Eastley, the warning signs were there. I'm going to make some changes. Interestingly enough, Man United have made all three of their chances, uh, their changes. I'm actually going to bring on uh, Vukatic for a duo. I'm going to leave Lukunku on for timing because he's playing well. Uh, Davis is looking shattered, so it means I'm going to have to take him off. Uh, not, yeah, I'm going to have to take him off and put Leon Walsh in his uh, preferred role. Um, it doesn't mean I'm going to have to put, bring on a youngster. No, I don't. I'm going to bring, put Lukunku into George Davis's position. I'm going to bring on Valinden because he's been playing quite well, to be fair. So I'm just going to make two changes for now. Um, more for the fact of... Um, more for the fact of, you know, tiredness and that. I'm just thinking... If there's one more player I can bring on, it might be a defensive one, depending on what happens here. Because Marshall's in behind, and he's hitting to sign it, and I thought he'd beating Big Z for a second then. Corner, Cavillero in capital letters for some reason, he's shouting his name for some reason. The dick is brought down by a terrible challenge from Marshall. If this, this could be the strangest red card going, that was a appalling decision. He slid in last week, and then the dick ran into his legs, and he's been sent off. And that largely bolsters our chances of winning this game, but... He can never write anyone off with 10 men. Look at his last time out against QPR on the live com. We won with 10 men. We actually scored with 10 men as well to win that game 2-1. Petrov, though, one of the subs that's just come on. Crosses in. Back post. Carosi heads over the bar. 10 minutes to go. I'm going to bring on his last last change. Who to bring on? I'm going to take off the dick for Kyle Walker-Peters. He's having a good game, but he's susceptible to errors later on, it seems. I don't know why. I've just got it in my head that he, he does make mistakes later on. And Walker Peters is quite reliable usually. Cav Cavalero! Because it's shouting his name. Uh, Walsh finds Pedro. It's a tough tackle from Merkovic, but he's won it well. And Carosi trying to get forward. He's up against Rekic, I want to say it was. Cavalero shouts it across, but it doesn't 
come off for him, and then he heads out of play, and it's a bit of a let-off, really, a bit of a ping-pong, ping-pong, ping-pong in there. That's a corner. Koke crosses in, Bradbury heads it, oh, it's clipped the bar, I'm going over. Brewer, with 30 seconds plus injury time, away from a famous win here at the Silver Lake Stadium. Walker Peters, can it whipped in, lad? It's a corner. I actually thought giving a free kick for a second, then Bradbury's on the yellow card, it's a corner, Vukatic will take. Two minutes to be add added on. Valinden gets the edge of the area. Squares it for Lukunku. The man, the myth, the legend. Oh, that's a shocking ball from Lukunku standards. Murkovic. Great tackle, Pedro. Pedro gets away from Koke. It's hot on as well. Running out of air, so I'm going to have to breathe. Rekic has tackled. That's foul, should I say. Cavalero. Oh, it's a poor ball. And Walsh smashes it down the line. And the Issa fans go wild because they know they're only a minute or so away from a famous victory against the champions of England. It's a poor ball. Valinda now. Can he make a pay? Brewer is wide left. He's offside, apparently. 40 seconds to go. De Gea rushes to take this free kick. Caruso heads on. And apparently he's offside. That'll do us. 20 seconds to go. Don't, don't rush it. Take your time, Rekic. Take your time. Hey, calm down. Great ball to find Walker Peters, by the way. Ten seconds. Lukunku finds Valinden. Five seconds to go. That's it. Run it into the corner. Gets fouled by Koke. That's going to be it, that. It's going to be it. Famous win. Yellow card for Koke. Frustration. You can imagine. Free kick doesn't even get taken. It's 2 1 to Easley. Come on. Season back up to 8th. Fantastic. I'm very proud of that performance because it's against Buda Femmes and Fry Badgers and whoever else is. I'm pretty sure someone like. Uh, uh, I, can't, I can't remember. There's that many people in the FM community. I just know they're the ones that support Scum. And uh, apart from obviously the Stockports and the Carlisle Uniteds. But yeah, that's a great result for us against the, the leaders of the league and the, the current title holders as well. But yes, fantastic result. 8th. In the league now, halfway stage we're eighth. I think last time uh, we were about 13th or something. Last this time, last, this point last year, the halfway stage, get another amount of points like that. You can see us finishing around that area. That's where I'm probably realistically aiming. I would like to sneak into the European spots if I can, but we'll have to wait and see. But results have been poor. We lost to Derby. We lost to Everton, who are now third actually. To be fair, that when I played them, they were 12th. Right. So moving on for the next potential game, we've got Charlton in the FA Cup. I'd, I'd said before I'd like to do an FA Cup run, um, but to be honest with you, I don't know. I, I like to think we'd, we'd beat Charlton, dare I say. In fact, I'll tell you what, yeah. Right, what, I tell, what we're going to do, there's only going to be one game in between. It's going to be West Ham, and then I'm going to play the Charlton game in the FA Cup third round. Uh, the reason being, if there's only one highlight, it will be a short episode if we win or lose against Charlton. But if we draw, I'll go straight into the replay, if, uh, if that's the case. So hopefully you join us for that. As always, hopefully you have enjoyed this video. If you have one, press that like button. If you'd like to see more, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, hopefully you join us, like I said, for the Charlton game in the FA Cup third round. And hopefully we'll, we'll see us get through. And, you know, I'm not going to look too far ahead. But really, we should be beating teams at Charlton if we want to have a cup run. Um, no disrespect to Charlton. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, as always. It means a lot that everyone is still supporting. Uh, after quite a while, uh, obviously we're into his 11th season now and it's absolutely fantastic that we've still got people watching so thank you very much for everyone so hopefully you'll join us for the Charlton game in the FA Cup third round and until then, I'll see you then, bye bye